Hey guys, Mike from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to determine or how to identify the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent in a redox reaction. If you haven't done so already, please check out my video about how to determine the oxidation numbers and how to determine what's oxidizing and reduced because those are the skills that we'll be using in this video to uh, figure out the oxidizing and reducing agent. I'll also be cover I'll, I'll definitely be going over those in uh, briefly here, but if you want a detailed explanation, then check out those videos. So let's start off with the definitions. Oxidizing agent is the reactant that is reduced, and then reducing agent is the reactant that gets oxidized. So a couple things here. These agents, they have to be reactants. They can't be on the product slide, so always look at the uh, left side of the reaction. And then you can also you also notice the switching. So if something is the oxidizing agent, it was the one that's reduced, and then reducing agent was the one that's oxidized. You can remember it's the opposite, or if you want an explanation as to why that is, let's go over that. We can write a really simple, simple reaction, A plus B forms C plus D. And let's say that A was losing electrons and B is gaining those electrons. So we would say that A is oxidized because it has lost electrons. And then we would say that B is reduced because it has gained electrons. A is called the, it is the reducing agent because it helped reduce B. It gave up electrons to B, so it reduced B, and that's why it's the reducing agent. B, on the other hand, it's the oxidizing agent because it accepted electrons from A, so it helped A lose electrons and help oxidize A. So that's why they're called the agents, because they're helping their partners become um, oxidized or reduced. So let's jump jump into some examples. And for these problems, we'll be determining the oxidizing agent and reducing agent for the following reactions. The very first step is to determine the oxidation numbers uh, for all the elements. The so copper here is a pure, it's a pure element. It'll be zero. Ag is a monatomic ion, so it just matches charge positive one. Cu2 two, two plus will be positive two. And then Ag will be zero. Again, uh, we're going through the oxidation numbers very, very briefly here. If you want a thorough explanation, check out the previous video. I have some of the rules right here for you to follow along. Then next, we are going to determine which element is oxidized and which element is reduced. So the re reduction means there was a gain in electrons, so there was a decrease in oxidation number. And that would be silver, because silver went from positive 1 to 0. And then oxidized means there was a loss of electrons, so the oxidation number will be increasing. And that would be the copper, because it went from 0 to positive 2. Then the agents are, you know, just think of them as, as the opposites. So the reducing reducing agent is the, it's the reactant that is going to get oxidized. So the, um, the one that's oxidized was copper. So then the, the reactant is just the, uh, the copper. So the reducing agent is the copper, and then the oxidizing agent is the one that gets reduced, and silver is the one that get re got reduced, but the reducing agent will be silver plus. Note that it's, it's silver plus because that's the form that's on the reactant side. The uh, reducing oxidizing agent has to be one of the reactants. Okay, next one, let's take a look at something that's a little bit more complicated, has more reactants. So will start by assigning the oxidation number. H is positive one. MnO4, O is negative 2, which means it's overall negative 8, so Mn has to be positive 7 to make the overall charge uh, negative 1. H is positive 1, O is negative 1, because in peroxide, O is negative 1. Um, Mn is positive 2, because it's a monatomic ion with a positive 2 charge. O2 is an elemental, it is element in its natural form, so it'll be 0. And then H is positive 1, and O is negative 2 in, uh, in water. Then we can determine which element is oxidized and reduced by comparing the oxidation numbers. So you can see that Mn, Mn went from 7 to positive 2. So that was a decrease in the oxidation number. That means it was reduced. And then O went from negative 1 to 0. So that is oxidized. So let's rewrite that over here. The element reduced is Mn and then the element oxidized is O. Then the agents are just the, react, the, the opposite. So reducing agent is going to be the reactant that contains the oxygen, and that'll be the H2O2. And then the oxidizing agent is the reactant that contained the element that was reduced. So that'll just be MnO4 negative. Once again, the, the agents, they have to be the entire reactant that contains the, those, those elements. 
So hopefully that made made some sense. Let's just do a re quick recap. The oxidizing agent is the reactant that gets reduced. So it's the, it's the reactant that contains the, uh, the element that was uh, reduced that had a decrease in oxidation number. And then reducing agent is the reactant that could get uh, oxidized. So it's the reactant that contains the element that had an increase in oxidation number. So to do that, just start by assigning oxidation numbers, determine what's oxidized and reduced, and then flip it to determine the uh, agent. So you see what's re the, the reduced, what's the oxidizing agent, and then the um, oxidized was the reducing agent. And then just make sure you use the complete reactant form instead of just reporting the element. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.